Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Tony Torrance here. Today we're going to tie a jigged posse bugger, one of our favorite local patterns. I've got uh, one here as an example, and we'll quickly change over and slide a uh, C400 jig hook into the device. And uh, I've got uh, number 12, and that's an eighth inch tungsten bead. Let me get this all leveled out for you. And then uh, start out with some uh, 0.015 lead wire and put about four turns on there. Take that, cram it right up into that uh, bead as best you can. And I'd show it in another video. You can pinch it and slide it up in further, but uh, on this particular pattern it's not as critical at this size. You can also tie this uh, with the next size up on the bead. Let me level this out a little better so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and go up to a 5.30 seconds and then use a point oh, or point, uh, zero two zero lead wire if you want to. I have a little patch of uh, Australian opossum here and I uh, cut a chunk out. The thing that makes a uh, posse bugger a posse bugger is that the tail is like a marabou tail on your woolly bugger. So you want kind of a flowing semi-full tail. And it's usually about the length for me um, from the bead to where my tie-in point is. And that usually gives you a nice long tail. And you can make it as sparse or as thick as you like. The tail is veiled with um, some flashaboo and uh, I just tie that in and then fold it back and run it down. Excuse me. Run it down um, the sides and then trim it off right at the end of the guard hairs on the tail. Then I take the remaining piece and tie it in on this side for my ribbing. And then we counter rib it with um, some copper wire and small. And you use the small wire because we don't want it to uh, be too present in the pattern. The original pattern only had flashaboo uh, or a mylar tinsel and small um, wound through the body. Well, it doesn't last very long. You've got to counter rib them. Next, I'll take some uh, dubbing out of the same Australian possum. And, uh, you know, what we carry in the shop is, um, is a patch of, of a possum that's from hairline. It comes in a multitude of colors and you use that for your tailing material. And then um, you can buy the Wapsie, um, I can't even remember what they call it now, but it's an opossum blend uh, for your body. So you can kind of match it up that way. But this is the standard, you know, uh, no color variation, just kind of a reddish brown color for the dubbing. Or reddish tan almost. I'll bring this up and start right at the tail there and try to build a little taper. Sometimes I'll come back over and do a spin and then just kind of double back over like that. Leave a little bit of space because you, you don't want to crush your hackle and I'll talk about that in a minute. I do use um, my rotary tool for the ribbing. It just It's turned out that it gets a lot better to use this, or uh, doesn't get better, it gets uh, it's more even as I come around and lay this in there. I can actually see exactly where I'm laying my ribbing, and, uh, and I'll do a couple turns over the thread, get this out of the way, bring the thread over the top, tie that off. Save that little piece, that's your next uh, tailing for the next one. So, And then I just, I don't bother with uh, the rotary on this because I just put about four turns or so of this thin wire just really to keep everything together. And then I'll helicopter that off. For the hackle, I just come in here and I've got, you can see my Hungary partridge is, is kind of a brownish color. That's the, the preferred color. You can use the, the lighter shades if you like. And then I fold it back just to get it locked in there and then come in and 
trim that piece. Now if I leave a couple pieces hanging loose, it's okay. And then I will get my hackle and fold it back. It's important because you're only going to get one turn out of this is to get that hackle both uh, sides kind of laid back so it uh, is a collar style almost. And then you can move them around a little bit when you uh, get everything secured. So Get rid of that stem, fold everything back that's in the way, the little spare fibers and such. So there's my hackle. Now you can, uh, some guys are putting a little bit of CDC in this, and you can do the CDC. Um, if you look at the uh, FLAV variant uh, tying video, um, it shows how to do that if you, you decide you want to put uh, CDC in there. Um, just make sure that you uh, keep your, your uh, if you're going to put two different uh, hackles in there, keep them kind of sparse so you don't end up with this big matty hackle. Um, it will, uh, it just takes away from the fly, you know, sometimes less is more. And then now I've got a little black hair's ear, or not hair's ear, but just uh, hairline dubbing, and I've got plenty there. So I'll just pop that and get one or two turns to secure it. I'm using a, a tan or brown Vivas thread. So what I do when I get to the end, I don't want to use black, I don't like black thread underneath it because it's a, kind of a lighter fly. I just take a black sharpie and uh, color that up. And then I will use a little bit of uh, your favorite super glue. This just happens to be Zappa Gap brushable. And I just lay a little bead of that on the thread. I think I talked about this on the 20 incher. Um, something new for me, but it's working out really well to secure these flies. And I'll put a couple turns of that on there. And the, the thread will bleed a little bit, but I've tested it and it holds the color fine. And then put a couple three wraps over. So then I've got a black thread right up against that uh, little bit of dubbing. So there you have a jigged posse bugger. You can uh, tie these in uh, a lot of different uh, sizes and um, just kind of work that hackle around. So now I got full coverage in a lot of different sizes. Use it as a point fly uh, on a two fly rig. If you want to get some weight, um, you can configure the lead and the, and the head or the uh, bead any way you'd like. Um, also, it's a great fly for a hopper dropper setup. So there you have it. Uh, get yourself a few in your box and give them a try. And uh, thanks for watching.